hey guys, you seriously want to be like Mrs. Jones when you grow up? And you're probably wondering, Carla, who is Mrs. Jones? Well, let me tell you, Mrs. Jones is somebody that buys all of her real estate inside of her LLCs. So the question really becomes, and the one that I get all the time is, should I buy real estate inside of an LLC? where I am Carla Dennis, I'm a licensed tax professional, and I wanna tell you why you should consider buying real estate inside of an LLC, and that when you grow up, you'll wanna be a lot like Mrs. Jones, who owns 25 rentals, all of them are inside LLCs, all of them are financed under the names of her LLCs, and I refer to her as Mrs. Monopoly. The first thing I wanna to talk to you about is what is the risk of buying real estate in your own name? I know a lot of us starting out, we don't have any options. The only thing we have is our credit, so we buy real estate in our own name. But when you do that, what's affected is your credit. Every time you purchase real estate, you now have debt going against your credit. That's number one. Number two, is when you purchase real estate in your own name, people can Google you and they can find out that you own property. So all of your information is out there for the public to see. And that could potentially lead you into more lawsuits than not. So those are some considerations when you're thinking about whether it should be in your personal name or in the name of an LLC. The LLC will at least give you some type of anonymity, some type of protection away from people that may just be looking for you. Not only that, but when you have property in your own name, you also are risking your family because people can now search for not just you, but they can find out who's related to you. In addition to that, you're subjecting yourself to legal fees, right? Because in the event of a lawsuit, they're going to be coming after you because that property is in your name. In order to purchase real estate in an LLC, the first thing you have to think about is, are you a newbie? Are you new to owning real estate? And are you new to having an LLC? Banks typically don't like to lend to brand new LLCs or brand new companies. They like for you to be at least two years old. They also don't like to lend to brand new real estate investors. They want you to be a seasoned investor because you have a track record of being able to hold on the property and to pay it timely. The other consideration is making sure that you want to become a true real estate investor and move away from just being a property owner. Having an LLC will allow you to eventually start to build up your credit and invest by purchasing inside of your LLC through the bank. And furthermore, if you don't have an LLC, you do not have a Paydex score. And a Paydex score to a business is like a FICO score is to an individual. That's how banks look at businesses. So if you don't have that, then you will not be able to actually finance property through an LLC and you may have to personally guarantee it. Something for you to consider. You may wonder why a Paydex score is important. A Paydex score is really important because building credit under your business requires it. So if you don't have a Paydex score, meaning you don't even have a FICO score sorted for your business, you won't have as much fun. You won't be able to go out and purchase more properties and you'll always constantly be using your own personal credit. So remember, an LLC builds credit by getting a Paydex score. Last but not least, number three, you also want to have a relationship with a title officer. Why is that? Because a title officer is the person that you can utilize to transfer the title of the property from your name into the name of the LLC. Even if you start out owning property in your name, at some point, you need to start utilizing an LLC. If you transfer the title from your name to the name of the LLC, now your LLC owns an asset. And you can do that through what we call a quick claim deed. 
A quick claim deed is a document that allows for the title of property to quickly transfer from one individual to another. And typically that transfer is going to be for zero consideration. With the quick claim deed, you can transfer the title of the property prior to the closing of the escrow quickly by just utilizing one simple document. Once you've done this, you also want to avoid rental losses. When you're trying to build business credit under your LLC, banks like to see positive income. So you want to be careful as to how many write-offs you take through your LLC. Making sure that you have positive income and in building that credit is going to help you then refinance that property in the name of the LLC and start building that credit and get that paydex score up. Not only that, when it comes time to purchase that second property under your LLC, you do not want your LLC to show losses. You want to have positive income so the bank will just say yes. So at the end of the day, you want to be like Miss Jones or you really want to be Mr. and Mrs. Monopoly. You want to be able to purchase property in your LLC. If you need more information, comment below, subscribe or click on the link.